I've heard that. I've heard that called shelf fungus. Hey, Bark Lord. How about some coffee? Uh, kind of in a hurry. Don't have a lot of time. Except for that, what I wanted to talk about. Uh, the more I think about it, uh, hazing. Um, it just keeps the scope of it. Just keeps going wider and wider. I'll tell you my first hazing uh, memory. It just came to me, actually. Um, I moved into a new neighborhood as a child. And, uh, and you know, as, as you do as a child, you just, like, you're looking for kids. And if you see a kid, you just go walking right up to him. You're like, hey. You know, <laughs> I'm like, I live here now, so we're going to be friends. And uh, so I went up to this kid. Uh, um, he was playing in his front yard, and I walked, just walked right into his front yard and said, Hi. I'm Earl. Want to play? And he's like, uh, "Yeah, sure. Let's let's play, Earl." Um, he's like, uh, "Do you want to play? Uh, do you want to play dare?" And I'm like, "Yeah. How, how do you play dare?" And he's like, "Well, I just dare you to do something, you know, and then you dare me to do something." I'm like, oh, "Okay." He's like, "He's like, I'll start." He's like, uh, uh, "Put your finger down this hole uh, in the ground." And I looked at the hole, and I'm like, well, why is that a dare? He's like, I'll just do it. So I stuck my, uh, my finger in the hole, and uh, it was a hornet's nest. And I got stung uh, a couple times. Like, I got, I got stung on the hand, and then as I pulled my hand out, the hornets came boiling out. And uh, some of them got in my clothes, and I kind of like this spot right here. That's kind of low. Maybe this will work better. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got stung a, a couple different times on my body, and um, and I ran for it. I ran home. Um, and uh, I don't. I, you know, I don't. I don't. It's hard to understand the motivation uh, with these people. Um, but it's the uh, it's the exact same thing. It's almost like a. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm still meeting that little kid, uh, even now in my 40s. That, uh, and now that little kid is, uh, like, you know, <laughs> is wearing a suit and tie sometimes. Um, and I remember, like, after that, like, uh, like, I thought that was pretty simple to me, like, what had happened. Um, and then, so I was in that neighborhood for years, and then... Uh, uh, through you know birthday parties, uh, you know picnics, uh, barbecues, campouts, um, I had I want I wanted nothing to do with that child, and uh, he uh, my what'd you call it my like just dogged determination uh, not to change, uh, my absolute lack of forgiveness. <laughs> um, he could not understand it. He could not get by that. He kind of thought that I was in the wrong. That you know, yeah. Well, sure, that's going to happen. People are going to shaft you a little bit, and you kind of go, oh, 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 yeah, you really, you punched me in my shoulder. It feels like I can't use my arm now. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> you know, now let's go out for a beer. And I'm like, no, we're we're never going to have a beer, absolutely ever. Um, you know, consider that my bee sting. You know, like that's uh, that's my little trick on you. You will never come to my house for a party or a barbecue or a campout. Um, or, you know, play cars in my front yard, or we're never going to go bicycling together. Um, you will now be living for years and years and years with somebody that wants nothing to do with you. And, uh, if, you, and if you trick another kid into getting a bee sting, um, uh, you know, that's the thing about, that's the other thing about uh, hazing, is it kind of like, it, it coalesces a, uh, a tribe. You know, everyone has to do this. Everyone has to tie a bungee cord to their leg and jump off, and it's through hooks through their skin. So you have the scars and, and the, the, the thrilling experience, and also that you suffered because other people said you should have. Um, but th then here, the reverse of that is people that uh, experience that hazing and, and, and say, absolutely not, I won't do that, or having fallen for that trick, I will have nothing to do with you in the future. I don't trust you. Everything you say coming out of your mouth is just going to be a noise because I'm not going to listen. Um, you know, you, you've, uh, you've completely destroyed any chance we have at uh, a relationship. Um, 
and uh, I remember like a couple, I mean, I've been talked to a lot about like forgiveness and stuff like that, um, about how that goes, but as far as like hazing goes and causing other people suffering, um, uh, I'm at war there. Like uh, I'll, uh, I'll start doing forgiveness when the war is over. Um, until then, um, if I knew that little kid now in my 40s, I would still not talk to him. Um, does that sound vindictive? I mean, do I, uh, I know that there's like a, a, a spirit of, uh, um, in a spirit of forgiveness, there's also like, you know, you hold, if you're holding on to like, um, negative emotions uh, will poison you, but to me it doesn't feel like a negative thing at all. Uh, it feels like I've gone, uh, um, like hiking where uh, you're, you scramble on shale and stuff like that and you lose your footing, you skin your knees, you skin your elbows. Um, then I, I found out about uh, hiking poles and so now I still go do that thing. Um, like I don't hold on to that, uh, that painful memory and uh, like, well, now I'm not going to go hiking. It's not that. I look for ways to adapt from that painful memory so I can still enjoy my life and then not have a reoccurrence of that, uh, that you know, skinning my knee and bleeding all over the place. Um, so now I go do it again with hiking poles. you got four, four points of contact. Uh, it turns you into a four-wheel drive monster uh, like my dog. Um, I, uh, the story took a long time. Uh, the... Uh, as I got into work, um, I noticed a lot of like a lot of construction jobs, because um, there, there's two things that happen when I get a job: uh, uh, hazing, um, and and that hazing tends to be combined with something that is uh, you know dangerous, uh, sometimes illegal. Uh, horseplay. A lot of t a lot of companies have horseplay as a firing offense. Um, oh, uh, also. Uh, I've never started to work at a place where I didn't get hazed, and I've never started to work at a place where at one point in time someone didn't suggest I'd be fired. Um, and I remember at one point in time it was, it was pretty clear why. It was like uh, everybody had uh, a job should take X amount of time, should, be, should, be, should take this long. Um, and I was doing it twice as fast. Um, I was really busting my hump because I was brand new on the job, and I think that I think that's a recognized thing. You hire on a new employee, they're going to go like crazy because they want they want to cement their position uh, with the company. Um, so I, I was going flat out, like you know, some sort of pace that uh, that can't be maintained. Um, and I remember actually at one point in time I'd slowed down, and a supervisor came and talked to me and said, "Hey, you used to do this in 20 minutes, and now it takes you uh, 40." And I'm like, uh, I'm like, well, yeah, I, I really wanted to do a good job. I really wanted to throw myself in and figure this kind of thing out. But I now realize that if I'm going to be here year after year after year, I need to pace myself in a way that doesn't cause injury to me. That going really, really fast, potential for injury. Potential for injury means uh, time away from work. It might mean uh, insurance uh, forms. It might mean doctor bills. It would mean, it'd mean cost to the company. So what I've found is the most efficient, fastest pace that I can maintain for years. And uh, if you like efficient and fast, and you like an employee here for a really long time, I think you'll see that my, uh, my job speed is uh, in your best uh, interest. And I'm certainly not slacking. Um, and he accepted that. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> mm, let's go. Um, I like these. Sometimes I come over and just look at these. Uh, that's the, 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 the uh, what was that, the broken beauty, a snake. Hey buddy, you want to run for Bark Lord? Yes you do. Um, let's see. Um, oh, uh, the illegal thing. Uh, a lot of the hazing involves something that actually could, um, give them something on you. You know, it's like the, uh, I was watching this uh, story about policemen where uh, someone refused to take a bribe and everyone was saying, you got you to take something. Because um, if you don't take something, then everybody that takes something is going to consider you as a threat. Even if you have no intention, like if you have no intention, like every, everything's good. But um, it might not be good five years from now. And, you know, they'll remember this entire time, actually, that you kind of have something on them.
so I've, I've worked at a lot of jobs. Uh, one, actually, I ended up leaving um, because there was an insistence that I do something illegal uh, in their presence. Um, and I just walked away. Like some people said, well, why didn't you, uh, why didn't you turn those people in? And uh, I mean, it's like those kind of people, there's people that search for that kind of thing. There's, uh, there's agencies that look for uh, you know, businesses doing illegal behaviors. And uh, they, have, uh, they have the tools and the protection uh, to take care of themselves and to get their job done. And I don't. Uh, you know, I'm a guy that lives illegally on the street. Oh, a rabbit. Um, I don't have those kind of defenses. So uh, my defense is when I see that people are insisting that I do something illegal is to leave. Even if I don't have, uh, even if I'm going to, you know, be, uh, you know, eating rice uh, for weeks or uh, talking to my pizza guy. Hey, can you just, is there any extra pizza? <laughs> are you throwing out any pizza? I used to have a pizza guy that would, uh, that pretty much actually made me uh, make it through a, a summer of uh, very little work and very little money. Uh, this guy, and actually a lot of his coworkers, um, pretty much made, made it so I didn't starve. Uh, you know who that was? That was uh, Little Caesars, uh, Pizza Pizza. The, uh, th a thank you to uh, the Little Caesars tribe uh, for making sure the Earl didn't starve uh, during that one uh, summer of no money. All right, that's a long, that's a long video, Bark Lord, and I could go on and on, but uh, you know, you know, I can. Um, but I think you get the gist of the hazing I was talking about, and um, I didn't, I didn't cover a lot of specifics, but that was the generality. All right, peace out.